When I was growing up in Kabul, Diana was my closest friend. When my family left Afghanistan in 1989, we promised that we will stay in touch. For years after my family came to Canada, Diana and I wrote to each other. Her letters increasingly reflected her depression living under the Taliban. The monarchy was overthrown in 1973. That was the year I was born. A coalition of pro-Russian communist parties eventually came to power and they suppressed both their left democratic and conservative opposition. An armed struggle to overthrow this government developed in the countryside. To keep the government in power, the Russians invaded in 1979. I was six years old at the time. My father was a doctor. He wanted to help people and he believed in democracy. Like thousands of other intellectuals, my father was sent to jail. Many of us joined anti-government movements. We distributed banned books and pamphlets. The resistance to the occupation was led by the Mujahideen, the holy warriors. For Diana and I, they were heroes. As part of their resistance to the Russians, the Mujahideen terrorized the population of Kabul. Despite that, we still idealized them, even when they rocketed our homes.